look at my belly. I've been having like the craziest, like really tight contractions. It, it just looks like so different today. Oh look, I guess that's where she is. I don't know, I just feel like it feels so much tighter than usual today. And it looks different than usual today. Tomorrow is my due date. Can you believe it? I definitely can't believe it. Good morning. This morning for breakfast, I had a piece of chocolate cake and some diet lemonade from Chick-fil-A. And I just edited my video and now I'm sitting here with my bump trying to decide what I want to do today. I made a mess last night because I was in so much pain and my legs are feeling a lot better today. Thank God. So I'm going to pick up a little bit around here because tomorrow night I'm going in for cervical ripening. And then if that doesn't work, then the next morning, Tuesday morning, I'll be getting Pitocin to start being induced. And the rest will be history. I just got my video up. I have not done, and I really not moved from this position. It's 2.30. Um, I made my bed and look at Dutchie. I made my bed and kind of cleaned up a little bit. My mother-in-law and mom are helping with laundry, which is amazing. And my sister-in-law and stepsister have been playing soccer outside, but now it's raining. It's kind of like a gloomy, not very pretty day. But I feel kind of nauseous. I've been having those same anxiety chest pains, and now that I know that it's from anxiety, um, they don't worry me anymore because knowing like what something is, I feel like always makes you feel better. So I started getting them last night when I was going through that pain, that inner thigh pain. I started getting the shooting pains in my heart and it was because it was really scaring me. Like it was the worst pain that I've maybe been in the whole pregnancy last night. So who knows, but my due date is tomorrow. So this video that I'm filming right now will be going up tomorrow morning and then tomorrow night, like once you guys see this video, that night is the night that I'll be going in to the hospital. And I'm going to have Cervidil put on my cervix. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. It's a gel that helps your cervix finish softening and thinning out. And I think that it should hopefully start to dilate me. Hopefully at that point, I'll go into labor naturally sometime throughout tomorrow night which once again will be the night of when you guys are watching this video so hopefully I'll be going into labor naturally that night if not then the next morning which will be Tuesday morning Tuesday morning I will start getting Pitocin early that morning from my doctor to hopefully progress labor if it hasn't been progressing on its own and then hopefully I will be having Skyla on Tuesday. If my labor ends up going longer, it could be as late as Wednesday when I have her. But I'll ha she will be in the world on Wednesday at the very latest. So Skyla's birthday is most likely going to be June 14th or June 15th. It's most likely going to be her due date. <sighs> my brain's not thinking right. Like this is just, I think I'm in like shock or denial or I'm just like not, I am like out, this is like an out of body experience even talking about this. I just feel like I can't believe I've even gotten this far in the pregnancy that this is happening. What's going on here? I'm talking about Skyla's due date is probably gonna be, unless I go into labor tonight, which is the 12th or tomorrow before we go into the hospital, that Skyla's due date is probably going to be June 14th, most likely, or June 15th if things go a little bit rockier than planned. What date do you think Skyla is going to be born? Because the in less. The 14th. So you think that I'm going to go in tomorrow night and um, then she'll be born the next morning? Yes. 14 is my favorite number. Okay. And since she didn't get to be born on my birthday, which really really disappointed me. It's, uh, it's okay though. June 14th. Okay. At 1 11 p.m. 
Okay. She's going to weigh eight pounds, seven ounces, and she's going to be 20.5 inches long. And she's going to have lots of curly hair like my mom. What color are her eyes and hair going to be? She's going to have blue eyes. Okay. And her hair is going to be sandy blonde. Well, we won't know her hair color until she's like six months. Right. Okay, Nick, mm -hmm. what day is she going to be born? She's going to be born on Tuesday morning. So June 14th. 14th. Mm -hmm. Okay, and how much is she going to weigh? She's going to weigh nine pounds. Wow. Nine pounds? I hope so. <laughs> what is, how, how long is she going to be? How long is she going to be? She's going to be 24 inches. 24. Okay, Nick, that's a really aggressive. I've never even, I've never star. even heard of anyone being 24 inches <laughs> long at birth. Star. What did you say? I haven't guessed yet. Uh, 19 inches. 19 inches. Okay. Is that still long? Yeah. That's a normal length. <laughs> I think that I'm going to go into she labor tomorrow 20. before 20. my induction. I think tomorrow on my due date, I'm going to go into labor naturally. <laughs> this is so funny because this is like wishful thinking, but I'm going to go into labor exactly on my due date naturally or tomorrow night after the cervidil is put in my cervix. I think I'll go into labor right away it's after they put that. It's not spermicell, <laughs> it's cervidil, I think. I think, I'm, yep, so I mean they're going to go into labor. Then they put the horse sperm on your neck. They're your not cervix. putting horse sperm in my cervix, so I'm going so to go into labor tomorrow down. or tomorrow night on June 13th on my due date. And I think she's gonna be like exactly eight pounds, like right around eight pounds, maybe a little tiny bit less or a little bit more. But I think she's gonna be very close to eight pounds, and I think she's gonna be 20 inches long. And we won't know her hair or eye color until she's like six months old or maybe even later. But I think she's going to have green eyes and I think she's going to have brunette hair, like light brunette hair. Maybe black with like, hair. Nick says black hair. And I think that it's, it's going to be black eyes. You think she's going to have black hair and black eyes? Yeah. Like, like you? Me. That's what Nick has. Nick has black hair and black eyes. So I think green eyes and I think light brown hair with like little sun highlights. You know how little kids get like the little sun highlights? I think she's gonna have that. But I don't care what hair or eye color or weight or length or day she's born. I'm just so excited. Aren't you? Mm -hmm. I can't believe tomorrow's the day that we're going on like How are your my hips? Mind. My hips are better today. I was just telling them that my legs feel better. But I've had like shooting sharp pains in my heart because of the anxiety. What do you want to do today? Zell's it's storming. I don't know if you Zell. can hear the Zell. storm, but Zell's scared. Oh, Nick and my mom hadn't got their Tdap shot until today. They just got home from getting their Tdap shots, which is the whooping cough shot. Nick. And I've asked Nick 17 times to clean our vent in our room because it's like up on the ceiling and I'm not even gonna show you guys because it's so dirty and gross. But Nick, I've asked you to do it twice now, baby. And to clean Duchess's poop me. room out. Such as his poo poo room. So needs me. She needs you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look how dark and gloomy and rainy it is. I am having cramps now and nausea. I don't know if I said nausea yet, but I'm definitely having nausea now. And I just noticed that my neighbor's window is wide open and it's dark outside and light in here, and I don't have any pants on. So nobody else believes me, but I think that my belly got smaller today. I know it still looks huge, probably especially in video, but it feels a little bit smaller today. And she definitely feels like she's dropped today. And my stomach feels like hard as a rock, seriously. But it's like a constant contraction, constant cramps. My due date is tomorrow. My due date is tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's storming pretty bad. My mom and I are gonna run out and run some errands really quick, but it's storming really bad. So I just gave Zella her first thunderstorm pill. I don't know if it's going to work. I've never given her one before. My vet just gave them to me, but she's really scared right now because of the thunderstorm. It like really panics her. So I'm really hoping it works because poor baby. I know. Poor thing. It's scary. I know. And it's being she's sweet. sweet girl. Yeah. She's chilling out, getting ready for sky. Nick is cleaning out the Dutch room. 
Tanya's in the kitchen making sandwiches. Hey, Kaylee, will you shove this back on the top shelf? Kaylee made a quesadilla. I sure did. In the microwave. <laughs> Zell, are you feeling better yet? You look like you might be. She looks like she might be feeling a little better. I don't know. I wonder if that stuff works. We're making labor inducing cupcakes, and so we're gonna get a bag of lemons. Lemons, I think, are the special ingredients, but if that's the case, I've been having lemonade every day and I don't think it's working. Gewürztraminer and Chenin Blanc are my two favorite wines. Since I'm going to be unpregnant soon, <laughs> we're picking them up so that once I get back from the hospital, I can have a glass to relax. <laughs> yes, having mine tonight. And by the way, about that, the doctor, well, not the doctor, the lactation specialist said that you can have like a glass of wine or a beer. You can have a glass of wine or a beer. You just can't get drunk and then breastfeed. So that's what I plan on doing. Don't worry, I'm not just gonna get hammered and then breastfeed my kid. Evis is watching Orange is the New Black, which is her fave show ever. Um, and the new season's coming up, so she's freaking out. Crazy. I know, she so loves wait, wait, it. How do I get to the I don't know, I thought you just said you knew how to do it. You kept grabbing the remote out of my hand. Let me see. I need to press. <laughs> okay, so while my mom does that, I'm gonna be making these lemon sugar, um, no, actually, I'm sorry, this is the name of her blog, so I just want to give her credit for this recipe that I'm about to cook. Her website is lemonsugar.com, and I'm pretty sure it is a it looks like a cooking blog. This is the first time that I've ever been to it. But this is, when I Googled lemon drop cupcakes, this is the first one that came up. Um, or I guess what I meant, when I Googled labor inducing cupcakes, this is the first one that came up because another, um, there's another vlogger that ate these and then she went into labor the next day. Okay, so this is the one I'm gonna be using. Preheat to 350. And then you put your cupcake liners down. Look at the cute ones I got today at Randall's. It says to do 24, but I only have um, one that has 12. So I guess we'll be doing them in batches. Now we add two cups of sugar and two sticks of unsalted butter to mix for five minutes with a paddle mixer. I think this is a paddle mixer. Until it's light and fluffy. That's a nice mixer. Yeah. I'm zesting lemon. And then we added four extra large eggs. And now I'm going to add the lemon zest. Are you guys in the Clarified National Mills Annual? Yeah. I'm not sure about that. So we've added the dry mix and the wet mix. We had alternate back and forth between the two. It's looking so good. So Aaron, what are we gonna fill them halfway without another Ooh, that was over halfway. What are we gonna do with with um just do it in Two different. No, the leftovers go to me. Did you hear about Linda? Can we take this off? That's what I'm trying. That's what I'm about to scrape here. You give me a second. Wait. Yeah. It makes me want to go into labor. All right. Our cupcakes are in here for 18 minutes. And while that's going on, we have this on low heat. It's lemon juice and sugar that we're melting over low heat to make like a lemon simple syrup until the sugar dissolves. And now I am making the glaze, which is powdered sugar and lemon juice. Okay, so these have to wait for 10 minutes before we put the glaze on them. The glaze is, er, yeah, no, the syrup. We have a lemon syrup to put on them first. And then we just put a second batch in here for another 18 minutes. This is the syrup we spoon onto them after 
after they've been sitting for 10 minutes. Okay. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but I'm gonna try it. I've never done this before. Where was the second layer? The second layer is over there, it's a like glaze. We did, I thought the first layer was the glaze. No, it was the syrup, and then there's a glaze, and then there's a frosting. Tanya, do you know anything about this? I think you just push it, right? You just put the thing on, and then you just push the thing. The baking of it makes it longer. That's what I know. Because it's so many steps. Excuse my mess, but this is what happens when you're cooking. Look at this mess. So, it's like a powdered sugar bomb went off. This is a mess right here. Okay. So it's kind of each one gets about three fourths of a teaspoon glaze. I don't know how much that is, so I'm just gonna do a little, little bit. I don't want to do too much. Because it's just the first layer, right? It's just I want to eat the batter. The yeah, there's still the there's still frosting that goes over this. Isn't that crazy? We, this isn't even the first layer. The first layer was my mom spooned. I don't know if I got that on camera. Yeah, you did, I saw you. The first layer is you put syrup down. Like it's oh like a simple syrup with lemon and sugar. And you put it in when they're still warm. Like you spoon it over them while they're still warm. And then, <laughs> look at me. <laughs> and this one is like a, the glaze layer. I'm really nervous about this. I've never done this before, so I'm afraid I'm not going to do this very it's well. Even better. <laughs> oh, that's, that's oh, there awesome. we go. How cute is that? not gonna have enough frosting. Well, I can make another batch. Okay. I guess they just weren't uh, ready for all my jelly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm tasting my first one. This is like a very exciting moment. There you go. Yeah. Ooh, yum. Okay. I'm very excited. Does that have a hole in it? I think that she's going to do the contraction. It's on your nose. Are you eating one? Skyla, how do you like it? <laughs> Gyla, how do you like it? It's good. <laughs> I want to buy it. Grandma wants a bite. Wants a bite. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat even half of these. They're all for Aaron. Well, I was gonna wait. <laughs> so everybody else has one. Well, Aaron likes it. How is it? So good. How is it good? Just a bite. It looks delicious. Get your own cupcake. Well, I'm just gonna wait. <laughs> Get your own cupcake. <laughs> Words from Mama oh, Bear. <laughs> One of these ones. What? Is Kaylee coming out there with you? Zell, so, I don't want to give that stuff to you again, honey. I don't really like how weird you're being, sweetie. The thunderstorm is gone, but Zell is still sedated. Here is the after 
aftermath of dinner. <laughs> we just had burgers and we devoured them. And I was so hungry that I didn't film once again. We had sweet potato fries and black pepper fries. All delicious. Uh, I'm so sad I had to smash these to put them in these containers because I don't have like the fancy cupcake holders with the big dome. That's my next purchase, I think. But I'm really tired after all of the cupcake making and all of the eating. So I'm about to make myself a bubble bath. Just some light watching for my bath. <laughs> Duchess likes to take baths with me. This is our last bath as Duchess as, Mo as Duchess and Mommy without Skyla. Here is a bird's eye view of the belly. <laughs> it's so big. Okay, so I love these face tan towelettes. You basically use them the exact same way that you would use like a makeup wipe. They come in individual packs like this and you just take the wipe out, open it up and wipe it across your face. Then you just wash your hands right after. Nick is watching Game of Thrones. Zell is still so chill. Next time we have a storm, she's only getting half of one of those things. But she's been doing okay. She ate her dinner and she's been drinking water and she's fine. It's just that the, you should have seen the little tablet. I mean, it was tiny, but like I think it was a little bit too much for her. Oh well. It makes me so sad though. I've been like super restless. Like I can't relax. And it's like tomorrow's Christmas. Tomorrow's better than Christmas. Tomorrow is potentially the best day of our life. Wednesday at the latest will be, but tomorrow potentially will be the best day of our life. So, oh my gosh, everybody's like tired and falling asleep out in the living room and I'm like not gonna be able to sleep tonight. I'm going to work on Skyla's baby book and kind of fill in some of this stuff. It's so cute. I filled out all the pages all the way up to the labor story because we obviously don't have a labor story yet. So let's see what time it is. It's 11.07. So in one hour it will officially be my due date. And I have a feeling that she's going to come on my due date. I hope I'm right. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for following this journey. Just so you know, tomorrow this video going up will be the last video that you see for a few days because tomorrow night, which will be the night of when you're watching this video, we will be going to the hospital either way. So we will be back on to upload. I'm gonna be still videoing tomorrow. Not it just to send a very clear message. Sorry. I'm still gonna be videoing tomorrow. I just won't be able to upload it for a few days, probably like a week or so, give or take. I don't, I'm not positive yet. So just bear with us, head over to my Snapchat. I'm gonna try to document everything on Snapchat. I will put my Snapchat name right across the bottom of the screen. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. We are gonna have a labor and delivery video, which is awesome. And please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you guys soon. Good night.